So now that uh, we've started our tutorial, the first thing we need to do is figure out where we're going to get our data um, to build up our map from. So we've been tasked with building a map of the world um, that shows each country and uh, the GDP per, per country. So the first thing I need to do is uh, create a new project here. So I'm going to do that. I just click the new project button. And I'm thinking, well, I need a map of the worlds of countries. Well, luckily enough, if you open up the data repository on the right here, there's some sample data that gets installed with the GIS editor, and one of them is the countries.shapefile. So I'm going to double click on this, and um, I'll be prompted for the style wizard, but I'm just going to go ahead and uncheck that. And then, because um, I don't need to, I'll just use the default style and hit cancel here. So that's going to bring up a uh, map of the world here. And I'm not quite fond of the green color for the country, so I'm going to uh, load from the library the uh, country style so it looks a little better. Okay, so now we've got a basic map of the world, so we're, we're on our, well on our way. But let's take a look and see if um, our shapefile that we added here has the GDP data in it. And my guess is it doesn't because we're wanting 2011, which is really recent data. And if we click the View Data button here on the uh, toolbar, we can see the various attribute data for the layer. So we can see, well, we've got the country names, population, um, square kilometers, square miles, etc., but no GDP data. So this is quite common when you're building up a, uh, a map that you don't have all the data you need and you need to bring data from various sources together to build up the map for your project. So in this case we need to go find uh, the GDP data for each country and then we'll combine it with uh, this layer to get, our, uh, to get the data we need for the end result. So after a Google search I found a website out here uh, from the World Bank and you can see they have the GDP per capita in current US dollars and it looks like they have uh, quite an extensive list of uh, different uh, economic indicators but I'm gonna go ahead and download this data and I'm just gonna choose an Excel file so once this is loaded I'm gonna load this up in Excel and I'm gonna enable editing here and we've got a couple sheets. This one just looks like it's some source note of where the data came from. And if I click over here, we can see we've got GDP data for a bunch of different countries and for various years. So wow, we've got a lot of data here, all the way to 2012, but 12 doesn't look populated, um, but 2011, so we have the years we want. So I don't really care about the old data. I just want to know about 2011. So I'm going to select everything from uh, 1961 to 2010, and I'm going to delete those columns. And I'm also going to delete that column there. So now I'm just left with the country name, the country code, and the year and then of course the GDP amount um, per capita and you can see maybe not all uh, countries have data but the vast majority of them do and we can only work with the best data available for our given uh, project so now you may be wondering well how do I take this Excel data and merge it in with the uh, the map or the map data that I have and so I'm going to show you how to do that next. So the first thing I want to do is clean up this data a little bit more. So I've got two sheets down here. I really don't need this, so I'm going to delete this sheet. And then um, instead of it being in an XS, XLS format, I'm going to save it out to a uh, CSV format. And so you can do that by uh, just changing the type down here to CSV DOS. And let's just call this uh, World GDP Data. And actually, I'm going to do CSV, just comma, delimited. I'm going to save that. Excel will uh, um, you know, say it's not compatible. That's fine. Just go ahead and hit yes. 
and remember the path of where you where you actually save this as well because that's going to be important in the next step here so now that we have this uh, data downloaded we have it saved on our local file system in CSV format we can go back to the GIS editor and we're going to use a wizard on the tools tab called data join and what this allows us to do is join the CSV file to the uh, the country's file we have here so we're in essence going to be creating a new layer that will have a new attribute here on the right for the GDP of um, 2011. So to get started let's go ahead and do that and the first part of the wizard is we just need to pick the uh, the layer we want to join so it's going to be countries and now we need to select the uh, the delimited file that has our special data in it so in this case again it's going to be the GDP data for 2011 so I'm going to browse out to where I save that uh, that file um, if I can remember where that's at so um, once I browse to it I just open open it up here now one thing you want to remember is that you'll need to close it in Excel if you still have it open because otherwise you won't have the uh, the process available so I need to do that again choose world D GDP um, let me close down Excel all of it okay so that's a common area you'll see if you still have it open because Excel will have a, uh, a lock on that file so now that I've got that loaded I'm gonna go ahead and hit next here and this is where we select the columns we want to join on so you can view the uh, the layer data which is the the attributes in your um, um, shapefile in this case the countries are two shapefile and then our delimited file and so if we view this this is gonna bring up all the um, the data and I see we have an ISO three digit um, country identifier which I believe is going to be a good match to the country code in our data so that's very important that you need to have some common attribute between your two data sets so you can join them together so I'm going to choose the ISO 3 digit here and I'm going to choose the country code and then I'm going to hit next and this is where I choose what I want to be in my output layer that I'm going to be creating from this so here I'm actually going to choose everything from the original layer and then I'm going to oh, got one more to go I'm going to choose one column from the uh, delimited file and it's going to be 2011 now I can have an option down here of whether I want to include all features from the layer or only include features where uh, the mat there's a match in the delimited row so in my case I'm gonna go and include all the features from my original countries file because there's gonna be places like Antarctica or Greenland that I still want to display on the map that aren't that isn't gonna have data in the uh, the delimited file that I downloaded from the World Bank so once I have that I'm gonna go ahead and choose next and I can choose to add this as a temporary uh, layer on my project or actually output it to a file so I'm gonna to choose to output this to a file and I'm just going to call it uh, world or, um, world GDP and save that and that's going to save it as a shape file so now I'm going to go ahead and finish and once it's done doing the J to join operation you can see that uh, um, ask you if you want to add it to the map I'm going to go ahead and hit yes and now we've got a new layer here and if we uh, view the data on this layer you will see if we scroll over to the right we now have a new column that we can base our styling of for the the GDP so there's a few things I still don't like is maybe I don't like this column name maybe I want to make this a little more explicit and say 2011 GDP so I'm gonna come over to the edit tab and I'm gonna choose the world GDP um, layer and I'm gonna edit the column and I'm going to come down here and change this to GDP. Additionally, uh, string is probably not a great type to use for um, you know dollar values, so I'm going to change this to a double and give it a um, 
decimal length of 2, and hit OK here. And then once I save this, my file will now be updated. And if I view data on this again, you should see that now I have 2011 GDP and all the blanks have been converted to zeros. So at this point, I've got a good layer that I can do um, start to build my map upon because I've joined data to the countries from the, the delimited file I downloaded from the World Bank. So at this point, I can get rid of my original layer and I can start working to style this map based upon the, the new GDP value attributes I added. So that's it for uh, this, this segment of the tutorial of setting up the uh, map data. In our next uh, segment, we're going to show you how to style this map and uh, give it a thematic feel based upon the various GDP values. Thank you.